Hey guys, me again, Jared from Innovation at Western Power. Remember how we got into an atom to understand what electricity is? Another important thing is to understand conductors and insulators. So you know that the world around you is made up of lots of different types of materials. Clothes can be made out of things like cotton, wool, and even have bits of plastic on them. A car is made up of different types of metal and plastics and trimmings and panes of glass. And your electronics are a mixture of materials as well. When it comes to electricity, with some materials, like most metals, the atoms have electrons that are quite free to move, which makes it easier for them to carry electricity. We call them good conductors of electricity, and heat for that matter. We use copper and aluminium mostly for electricity cables. We actually need to keep electricity in strict pathways though. It's not much use if it gets off into random directions that we don't want it to go, and it could actually be quite dangerous to have it just going anywhere. So we wrap the conductors and materials that don't have free electrons in their atoms, and which, therefore, don't tend to let electricity run through it. We call these materials electrical insulators. Examples are things like rubber, wood, plastic, ceramics, and glass. Air is also an insulator, funnily enough, and that helps to keep the electricity in those high voltage cables. A surprisingly good conductor of electricity is water. This is why you should always avoid using electrical items too close to bodies of water. It's quite dangerous.